Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code and welcome to the next episode of our tutorial series on Chrome Web Development, on Chrome Extension Development. And in this tutorial, we'll be talking about content scripts. Now, before we jump into it, let's talk about what content scripts are. So content scripts are scripts that are allowed to actively affect the JavaScript of the page you're talking about. So remember how when we had our background scripts, they could not interact with the actual JavaScript of this page? Well, content scripts are allowed to do that. So let's talk about exactly how to get into this. So I already have some code written here in our manifest.json file, but I'll go through it line by line and explain what I've changed. So the first thing I've added is the within permissions, we've added the active tab permission. Now, what this allows us to do is it allows us to change what's going on in the active tab. And it's going to be very useful as we continue on with the series because we're going to be doing a lot of things in which we want to alter what's happening within the active tab and so on and so forth, depending on what this permission allows us to do. And then next, I added this thing here, content scripts. So you can add as many content scripts as you'd like. I only have one here. And one thing you do need is matches. And what this matches thing is saying is this content script will work for whatever URL is within this matches bracket. So any URL that contains google.com and has anything at the end or anything in the front of it will be matched with this content script. And the content script in question is given by this JS tag and it's content.js. So create that within the same directory that you have your other folder in. So let's hop into content.js and we can start actually actively changing whatever we want so let's go to just google i'll just look up google and as you can see here right now it's orange because of some things i did before we started the tutorial but let's update the extension and then reload and now it's back to white so let's actually change what's going on on this page and you already saw we changed the background to orange so let's change it to orange again we can just say it's very simple document dot body dot style and then the background color of this style background color and then we can select orange let's save let's update and let's see how it looks all right so now let's reload the page and as you can see the background color changed to orange we can change it to any other color we'd like let's change it to blue Let's reload. Well, we need to update it first. Sorry about that. Now let's reload. And now it's now it's been changed to blue. Now let's just change it back to white. And then let's also log to the console. Because remember, when we had our background script, we could only log to the service worker console. But now let's log over to our co actual console that the user sees. And you can just do this directly because you're inside of the content script and not within the background script. So con or console dot log. Let's just say content in all caps. Let's update the extension. Let's head back inside of here. And let's reload the page. All right, now let's access inspect element. Log over to the console. And as you can see, the content has been displayed within the console. All right, and there, so there are myriad things you can do with content scripts. Most extensions use content scripts extensively. And we're gonna be d diving into more of these features as time goes on. But this is just a very basic introduction how to get started with using them, and I hope it's been helpful to you. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. All this code is also point posted on our GitHub, so you can check that out. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks.